Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is March the 10th, 2022. Yeah, camera energy holders, they have taken the profit from the massive run up they saw recently in this particular stock. You guys can see it. It's a fantastic run. And people have been taking the bag in the market in camera energy because when you get such a run in, sh in such a short amount of time, that is the logical thing to do is to come in and take the bag. I'm going to show you all what my expectations are going forward in camera energy because I haven't done a price prediction for this market in a while, right? The last video that I've done was in November of last year, November the 19th, 2021. And you guys can tell from the chart, I didn't do a price prediction because I wasn't looking for the price to do too much outside of going lower. That was it. So here we are today. We saw a massive run up. Can we still expect that to happen in Camber Energy? Don't worry about it, I got you. If there's a play here, I'm gonna show you what my expectations are. If there's not a play, then just like I did in November, I'm not gonna drop a price prediction on the chart. I'm gonna find another play somewhere else. So if you guys appreciate this, hit the like button, share the video, also subscribe to the channel. Keep it locked in, keep it tagged in here because this is the spot, the location that you're gonna get the real. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck. If the price looks like it's gonna go down, then I'm gonna tell you that. If the price looks like it's gonna go up, I'm gonna tell you that as well. So check this out. Fantastic run. Let's keep it real. The market in Camry Energy started on the 23rd of February to where we saw the price kind of get an inducement of volume. Like the volume definitely came through on that day, the 23rd of February. So somebody knew something. Somebody knew that something was about to pop off way before the market in Camry Energy exploded. This is how you are able to tell when people are becoming more active because once they want to make money, then there's they put their money where their mouth is. This volume on the 23rd of February literally is telling us that. Now, the market in Cambridge Energy, the volume following the 23rd, continued to maintain elevated considering what was before the 23rd of February. Like the market volume in Cambridge Energy was completely dry. Nobody was trying to come in and really make the money. Somebody knew something on the 23rd and said, hey, let's buy this stock. Somebody knew that because they knew that the price was going to explode. This is why you have to pay attention to the price. EBITDA, fundamental analysis, listen on the earnings call, did not tell you that this was going to happen. This is why you need to focus in on a chart. So it was a great run. Following February 23rd, right? The market in Cambridge Energy saw 320% run up. Fantastic. If you caught that, congratulations, because this is how this game is to be played. You're here to make money. You're not here just to hold a stock because you like the stock. You're not here to hold the stock because you believe in the company. No, you hold the stock because you expect to make money. Everyone is expecting to make money. So congratulations if you did. Now, the question is, you guys can tell that Cambridge Energy, like I said, people's taking profit. Do you still think the market is going to go up then? If people are selling the stock now, Usually that would entail that price is going to come down, right? Yeah, that's what it usually means. This is why I wanted to draw this trend here, because even if price in Cambridge Energy still comes down, as long as the buyers approach this market here on this ascending line, it's going to continue to go up, right? So the expectation is we're right now trading at a dollar and seven cents, right? That's where we at. And looking at this historically, we already can tell where the buyers were previously can you see this can you see it can you tell where the buyers are at if not don't worry about it because i got you i'm gonna show it to you this is where the buyers are at okay they're right around here so guess what if cambridge energy's price stays above this level one dollar hey this is a great opportunity to come in and buy more of this stock. If it doesn't, we're going to come all the way back down here towards, I would say, 85 cents. Then all the way back down to 80. Well, 75. OK, so we got two price targets already that we need to see the buyers appear. They need to show up. They need to buy more of the stock because just like on February 23rd, if they still expect this stock to go up, they're going to come in and buy the market still, right? Yeah, you can expect that. So we're looking at a dollar, 85 cents. 
all the way back down to like 77 75 so we got a dollar 85 77 cents okay now let's look at this though let's look at this on the two day so you guys can tell yeah this is weakness the last completed two day price bar it is weak now I'm going to break this down to an hourly time frame to show us whether or not the buyers are going to try to make the market go back up though okay I don't like the fact that Camber Energy could not keep its price above this 120 level if the market was able to close above 120 that would have been fantastic because it still tells us that this market is bullish but it's not let's look at this on an hourly perspective first okay because you guys can tell that we are seeing a downtrend occur this market is weak and it started here this is where the dynamics changed in the market in Cambridge Energy right here look at that wide spread look at the high volume that came in and the market try to stay elevated like the market is you got people who think oh man we just saw the market hit two dollars it's now down at a dollar let me go ahead and buy some of this now because it's cheaper now buy on the dip right this is what these youtubers tell everyone to do buy the dip well the market look like it's still may want to dip right this is camera energy on the 90 minute this is camera energy on the 30 minute chart so what do you all think at what point would you say that this market is going to continue to go up because obviously we're down the market obviously is going down so at what point at what price level would you say that yeah the market here in Cambridge energy is still a buy what price level has to be broken for you to get that realization that Cambridge energy is still a buy because for me it's 120. if the price in the Cambridge energy breaks back up above 120 I'll do like 125. Yeah, the buyers are controlling this market right here. But if we don't ever see price in Cambridge Energy break above 120, then we already got our expectations to where we're going to go to the downside. One dollar, 80 cents, or 85 cents to 77. Those are the three levels. So let me go ahead and drop this real quick because until we see the market in Cambridge Energy give us some life, give us the indication that it wants to go up in price, we need to be paying attention to it going down. Okay. Now, we are already noticing this though. Like, I can understand. We all can visually see where the buyers are trying to keep this market from falling. I get it. This is the only thing that will keep us from not visualizing price continue to go down. Like, we got these two. 15 minute price bars there. We got this one here to where the buyers are now trying to come into the market. They're not willing to let the price break below a dollar yet. I get it. That's the only thing that will go against my price prediction. I get it. But let's run the play. Let me see. So like I said, the first area is a dollar. Okay. As long as Cambridge Energy's price does not trade above a dollar twenty, we're going to play the weakness. So that first area, yeah, it's at a dollar. It's not a lot, it's only 8%, I get it. But check it. We understand that the buyers can't approach the market right there though. The second level is what, 85? I get it. 21%, moving to the downside. Third level is 77, 78, 28%. And that's it. And that will take us back down here to this trend, right? Most definitely. So I'm going to hold these two lines here because I want us to visually see this. If the buyers continue to hold the market up here, yeah, we're going to expect the market to go up. So we'll, we'll have to cut this play real quick so we could catch that move higher still if the price maintains a dollar. But the moment we see price break a dollar to the downside, yeah, we're going to go lower in price. Just that simple. All right, so now let me zoom this in closer so we can follow what we're looking forward to. Okay. And that's it. I'm done. 
let me know what you all think give me your price target your price prediction to the market at camera energy as to where you think the market is headed all right make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different